Today we're going to be talking about beetroot juice and if it can really lower your blood pressure. So, to start off with, why should people care about the blood pressure and what really is it? Thank you Kelvin for your question. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, blood pressure, let's uh, use an example that everyone else can understand. Uh, like when you are watering your garden, mm -hmm. yeah? and you have your pipe, your hose pipe, your water mm -hmm. pipe, it will, you can control how much pressure by turning on the valve. Also, you can go and hold at the end there, mm -hmm. and you can make the water to, to go a bit further, isn't it? Yeah. That's by increasing the pressure. So it's just like that with our blood vessels, yeah? Um, our blood flows in our veins, and it has a certain pressure that is deemed to be normal and what is deemed to be too high or okay. too low. Yeah. So the problems with uh, blood pressure is usually high blood pressure where the pressure is, um, when we get to a number of 130 millimeters of mercury mm -hmm. uh, over 80 millimeters of mercury, we start saying we're having an issue. We should get that person to be treated. We should get that person to change the way they live their life. That person should change the way they eat. For yes. example, lowering salt and yeah. um, exercising and um, choosing carefully what we eat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what is detrimental about high blood pressure? Like what happens? Yeah, um, if what we like look at you, and start from head to toe, yeah. uh, all our systems can be affected by high blood pressure. Um, in the brain, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can have a stroke, mm. yeah? You can also have, on the eyes, you can have cataracts that can lead to blindness, mm -hmm. yeah? On your heart, you can have um, heart attacks, you can have heart failure, they say heart issues, okay? And then um, on the kidneys, you, blood pressure, high blood pressure can also affect kidneys or a problem with the kidneys can lead to high blood pressure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, the other things like um, you can have funny sensations on your... Well, like numbness feet, in your Yeah, numbness so. or your yeah. feet can are also related to high blood pressure. And it leads to like migraines and stuff. For some people, but the problem with high blood pressure, we call it a silent killer because in most cases, the person will not show any problem, will not show any symptoms. And they'll just boom. Yeah, yeah, okay. then, then, then we end up having a complication whereby, you, you know, well, you're now having <laughs> cataracts, you can't see can't properly. See or you just have a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. So all this sounds very serious and very scary. So how can something like beetroot juice help prevent this or help keep it under, under management? Okay, Be beetroot juice uh, will not replace medicine, but it's like one of those lifestyle things that we advocate, okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah, there was a study that was done at the University of Exeter recently and they showed that beetroot juice can lower your blood pressure, especially on older individuals, people who are above 60 years of, old, of okay. age, uh, where their um, blood vessels are now getting stiff, that uh, beetroot juice with its nitrate content and working with the bacteria, good bacteria in our mouth, yeah. that will convert that nitrate to nitric oxide and get to relax the blood vessels so that uh, it lowers your blood pressure. It sounds very good for you. Yeah. So going back to blood pressure, sorry, is a lower blood pressure actually better? Like the lower the better? Or is it a kind of a bracket that you want to be in with blood pressure? There's a bracket and this bracket depends with your age. So oh, okay. yeah, an infant, a toddler, a young person. It's all different. Yeah. Okay. But on average, we say for adults, blood pressure should be around 120 okay. millimeters of mercury, uh, going um, back to, let's say from 100 to 
120s into the 120s yeah. and we don't want it to be above 130 that's the systolic or the top value yeah then the bottom value we want that to be from around 70 to uh, just below 80 millimeters okay. of mercury yeah right okay so so going back to the beetroot how exactly can it do that like what is it doing to your blood by drinking it that it's okay so it all starts from your mouth mm -hmm. yeah when you drink beetroot juice beetroot uh, juice has what we call nitrates yeah and these nitrates need to be converted to um, nitrite then into nitric oxide uh, okay yeah the nitric oxide is the one that now makes stiff blood vessels in older individuals to be to relax uh, okay yeah if yeah. you go to the analogy of the watering horse pipe mm -hmm. we are saying um when the, the when the stiff blood vessels relaxes the pressure also lowers subsides okay yeah oh okay yeah well that's precisely actually, that reminded me of something i heard that mouth washing ruins its effect why yeah it's because um the mouthwash especially the very strong ones mm -hmm. they can kill bacteria in the mouth yeah the mm -hmm. bacteria Including is in the good ones yeah the oh, good okay. ones the nizeria species which are the good species in the mouth they will be killed and the provotella or the bad ones will grow uh, okay. uh, will outgrow the good ones so it's it's not just the juice but we need the good bacteria in the mouth to convert it to the useful nitric oxide okay yeah so could people swap out like medication they have for blood pressure with beetroot juice or no 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 they no, can't no, do that? no 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 people should not <laughs> do that please my viewers we are not saying you should throw away your pills don't do that uh, keep to your medication and before you start on this journey of beetroot juice mm -hmm. you should consult your own doctor who knows your own personal circumstances mm. because beetroot juice doesn't work for everyone in terms of sometimes a person can be allergic to beetroot it's true yeah, yeah. and some people might have kidney stones yeah Oh, yeah, and yeah. Um, beetroot juice has got oxalates which will worsen kidney stones so always don't watch uh, this content and go and change the way you yeah. you take your medication i guess do additional it's, research on top of what we're telling yes you. this could be a point um for you after learning this then you on your next visit to your gp or your physician mm -hmm. you can discuss with them um about what you have seen mm -hmm. and about this study that was done at the University of Exeter that has showed that in people above the age of 60 years old and, and after taking beetroot juice for about two weeks, you can lower um, blood pressure by seven points or seven millimeters of mercury. That's a lot, seven points. Then. Yeah, that's quite it. That's quite that's quite good. That's quite let's impressive. Say, yeah, let's say somebody was his blood pressure was one thirty, maybe it can go to around one twenty three, which is an acceptable level. Okay. Yeah. So say if someone didn't like beetroot, they hate the, the taste or the whatever the reason. Yeah. Uh, but they needed to lower their blood pressure in a more casual way. Would they is there any other alternatives, like other fruits they can eat, or would they have to go straight to medication for this problem? Okay, medication, we are saying medication should always be there according to your instructions from your doctor. Yes. But if you don't like beets or you are allergic to them, spinach is another good source of nitrates. Mm -hmm. Rockets, mm -hmm. um, kale, celery, fennel, all these um, good alternatives. And I'm sure if you don't like one of those, you might find one that you like yeah. as well. Yeah. So you're not out of options if you don't like beetroot. That's quite handy. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there any downsides to beetroots whatsoever? Like, is there anything that should be avoided? Or maybe should certain people with certain conditions avoid beetroot juice? Yes, definitely. If you are allergic to beetroot juice, then 
you should avoid it at all costs and if you have got kidney stones if your doctor said you've got kidney stones yeah. you need to discuss with them uh, before you can take uh, so, beets or beetroot juice okay yeah so is it only those two because you mentioned those before any additional ones to look out for or only the allergy and the kidney stone mostly these ones they you, but also you if you are on any other type of medication you should discuss that with your doctor because we have what we call interactions between med, med medicines so okay. if, if, if our if, even if you are already on blood pressure medication yeah mm -hmm. it might lower your blood pressure to be too low mm -hmm. okay so you will need to discuss this with your doctor before you okay. you you get on uh, beetroot juice so yeah okay so yeah. beetroot juice at the end of the day beetroot juice isn't magic but it really does help especially if you're someone who might need a little bit of management on their blood pressure but of yeah, course anything definitely. serious anything life-threatening go see your doctor and always do your own research and consult your own doctor because we don't know what your issues are but you yes do. definitely what we call comorbidities which mm -hmm. are, you might be having high blood pressure but you have other issues that you you are dealing with yeah so only your doctor will know what's best for you yeah yeah so again yeah that's that so that's the outro that's the beetroot section Done. yeah all right yeah that's good that's also actually very interesting because i might actually start drinking some beetroot juice. <laughs>